Hey, what's up guys? JC here. I normally don't do reviews for ESCs. I, f I find them to be redundant. Either they work or they don't. They fry and catch on fire or they don't. But because D-Shot ESCs are something that's brand new and gaining more and more popularity, I wanted to do a review on these and uh, also explain how the whole D-Shot situation works. And then on top of that, I'm going to talk about how you can pick these up for as cheap as possible with a couple of tricks and tips that uh, I'm going to give you. Because I feel like some manufacturers are playing the confusion of D-Shot against people and making you think that there is a, just for example, they sell these as a multi-shot version and then they ha also have a D-Shot ready version. But really, there is no different version. It's all the same ESC. There's only about two seconds worth of work that you have to do to make this D-Shot ready. And the D-Shot ready ESCs sell for more. They, they charge you a little bit more money. So I'll talk about that in just a second. But as far as my review for these, I really like them. I, I really like the, uh, the layout of it. There isn't uh, like a million of these capacitors that could potentially break off. When I was installing these, the first thing I noticed was the size of the pads. I really like how big they are because I've used other ESCs that have the smallest pads. Like, Can you imagine soldering your motor wires to these tiny little pads right here and trying your best not to fry these chips? I haven't fried any of these chips, but I have become like very worried because the pads are literally touching the chips. The solder like barely melted into the chip. I hate that. I can't stand it. But these, much, much better. The hardware on these ESCs are also great. Uh, the thing is, with this whole D-Shot situation, uh, you can convert multi-shot, or I should say BLHeli-S ESCs to be able to use D-Shot, make them D-Shot ready. Uh, just watch my last video and I show you how to convert your ESCs. It just requires locating a signal capacitor, removing it, and then flashing the newest version of BLHeli Suite. Now if you do buy these ESCs then you don't even have to locate the signal capacitor because I already did it for you in that video and it's located right here or at least it was it's gone now. Uh, but back to what I was saying not all BL Heli S ESCs are the same the hardware is different some operate faster than others so some ESCs are capable of using D-Shot 600 which is the fastest where some ESCs can only handle D-Shot 150 or 300. With these, you have nothing to worry about. These are more than enough. I have put these through hell. I mean, not the specific one. This, this one's brand new, but the ones on my other builds, I, I've never had them overheat, never fry, never given any problems, no jitters, no nothing, and they operate. I've been using them on, a, uh, on F4 boards, and uh, with the F4 boards combined with 8K and 8K on the gyro and PID loops uh, with D-Shot 600, no problems whatsoever, not one. Matter of fact, uh, that brings me to my next point. Uh, now I'm going to talk about how you can get these on the cheap. Uh, but the thing is, guys have been using these ESCs using Race Flight, and Race Flight, at the time of recording this video, uh, actually has the Race Flight One project that's been in the beta testing. And matter of fact, I've been using the beta version of Race Flight One. But guys have been using 32K. Uh, on the gyro update frequencies. Now, as of now, uh, you can't run D-Shot at 32K. I think uh, the guys at Race Flight recommended the maximum of 16K, but preferably 8K. I can't remember. Uh, but I'm sure they're going to get everything worked out. Like I said, the Race Flight 1 project hasn't even released yet. Uh, but anyway, uh, I ordered these ESCs a while back, before Race Flight even started selling these. And the only way I even know that they do sell these is because I just happened to be watching one of their uh, live events on Facebook and they mentioned that they started selling an ESC on their website. And they only sell one ESC and there's only one ESC that they recommend. So I was like, well hell, if Race Flight's running 32K and they recommend an ESC, it must be one badass ESC. So I want to check it out. So I came to their website and look what I found. A Race Flight Race B D-Shot Ready 30 Amp. ESC and it is the exact same ESC that I have right here. The thing is I didn't purchase this ESC from Race Flight. I actually picked up mine from readytoflyquads.com. Race Flight is selling it for $15 each. 
which is very reasonable. I mean, for fifteen dollars each, uh, like in hell, even last year, the year before that, I was purchasing some one shot one twenty five and some multi shot ESCs for sixteen, seventeen, even eighteen dollars each. So fifteen bucks, I still think that's a great price. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is. On, if you go to ready to fly quads.com, I'm sure there's other websites that sell this too. I don't know. I, I haven't shopped around, but they have a super race B or racer B instead of the race flight race B. And they sell theirs for $12 each. Now, here is the other kicker. Uh, like I was talking about earlier in this video, I think that it, some people are trying to play like mind games or play people's confusion against them to get more money for ESCs because they sell these as a multi-shot ESC or a D-shot ESC as if there's two different ESCs but there's not it's the same ESC the only difference is uh, you remove the signal cap and you flash the newest version of the firmware but for the D-shot ESC they want to charge you more money well speaking of this I, I should say that these are twelve dollars each, but if you buy four at a time, then it's thirty plus twelve, so forty-two dollars each. Where if you buy them individually, that would be what forty-eight. Yeah, so you save what six dollars right there. If my math is right, uh, yeah, it seems right. So you save six dollars by buying four at a time. Then you can save even more money by not buying the D-Shot Ready ESC. Just out of curiosity, I purchased these with the D-Shot Ready option, and I also purchased them with uh, the Multi-Shot Ready option, just to see what the difference is. Of course, the Multi-Shot ESC has the signal capacitor. The D-Shot ESC does not. Then, as far as firmware, the Multi-Shot ESC came with uh, the BL Heli 16.3 firmware. The D-Shot Ready ESC came with 16.4 which like uh, uh, if you watch my last video I explained that there is no D-Shot specific firmware all BL Heli firmware 16.4 and newer includes what you need to be able to use D-Shot and the thing is at least right now at the time you're recording this there's an even newer version available 16.5 uh, so no matter what ESCs you buy you the first thing you do is always check the firmware and upgrade the firmware to the newest version so you're going to do that either way then the signal cap, you just take these, some wire cutters or something, and just snip it off, and then you're done. You now have D-Shot ESCs, and you just saved a couple bucks right there. I know you're not saving that much money, but we're talking a difference of $42 versus $50. So, I mean, hey, that's an $8 difference. You can save 8 bucks because you're going to flash the firmware either way, and it takes one second to clip that cap off. So you might as well. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, my overall experience with this EUC, great. At least so far. I, I've had no problems, no uh, overheating, no nothing. D-Shot 600 works perfect. Plenty of power. I like it. Matter of fact, I, I like it so much I bought like 12 more. So as always, look in the description below, and uh, you'll find links to other videos there. And I will see you again soon.